Okay, mga idol, how are you? Uh, viewers, my subscribers, uh, friends, relatives, ladies and gentlemen, shout out! Let's do shout out first. Ito kay Ryan Crossip Tech. Tapos sa kaibigan natin walang kupas, si Marco Francis 713 Mix Vlog. Then to Joss Electronics, so shout out sa'yo. Next is Dev Electronics. At si Jess Repair TV, shout out to you. Shout out to Sir Chitek. At dito sa bago kong kaibigan, salamat sa pagbisita sir sa channel ko, si Pinoy Tracker. So shout out sa iyo. At dito kay Gyu Kyle, hindi ko alam kung foreigner ba ito o Filipino lang. So thank you and shout out to you. And this new friend, I don't know how to read uh, his name or his channel. So shout out to you sir, thank you very much for visiting my channel Okay, so at dito kay Dudong Bustamante Thank you for visiting my channel sir Shout out to you Okay, so what I got here is this bad boy here This one I'm going to the bolts today How I am going to repair this LG component system having no sound Okay, so because I know that uh, Filipinos knows or can understand English even just a little bit. I will just make this video a fully English version for the sake of uh, some of my subscribers that are coming from other country. So for them to understand what I am talking about here, so I have to speak speaking dollar. Okay, so now we are going to trace the signal. And we are going to use the tuner. So I'm going to plug this unit in the outlet. And let's turn on this unit. Okay, so the volume is... We just lower this into 25. Or 30. Okay, just 30. So FM, we are on the FM mode. So we're going to press F this uh, FM registration is uh, working or it is if it is having a signal since we are uh, getting signal from the FM we are looking for the output or the audio signal coming from this uh, tuner box okay so I have here a signal tracer so in this uh, method I am going to show you that the signal is there but uh, not reaching the speaker terminals okay so because if I am always uh, explaining or if I am just uh, telling you by words so maybe you won't believe me if uh, the signal is there so I am probing to you so I will use my signal tracer here I will turn it on okay so this is the uh, my signal tracer so we are going to trace the this connection here this is the audio signal okay so there you go the signal is there so this is the other channel and it works also so this IC is the mixer IC the part number of this IC is 4052 so this is the demultiplexer or in other words the mixer IC. This unit have five channels generating and this 4052 is a four channel uh, mixer IC or demultiplexer. Okay, so from this area the output of the tuner box the signal moves to the demultiplexer 4052 IC. So we'll trace if there's a signal there. and the other channel there you go so the signal re uh, reaches the output of this uh, the multiplexer 4052 IC so the output of this 4052 or the mixer IC the output of this is moving to the op amp the MC4580 of amp IC this one 
So we will check this too because this is the output. So that signals, uh, the signal is going through this two electrolytic capacitors. So we'll trace if the signal uh, is there in the output of the op amp. So it's hard for me to show to you. With you. Okay, so there you go. The signal is there on the other side. Okay, so the signal is still there. Okay, so now we are here in the uh, opposite side because the signal is going this way. As you can see, here is the two electrolytic capacitors uh, which carries the signals coming from the output of the op amp, the MC4580. And the connection of these two electrolytic capacitors are going this way. As you can see here, there's a resistor here. Okay, so I will show to you if the signal is there. And the uh, other channel, the resistor is on the other side of the board. So we will just check it here. Okay, so there you go, the signal is there. Okay, so we will just move to the next step or where the signal is going through. Into this wire. The gray wire. Which having a black wire, red and white. So these are the signals coming from the uh, op amp. So as you can see, the wire is going up. So the signal is going up here and going to this uh, board. So this board uh, combines the CD and the, the USB. So this wire is the USB. So you can see, it moves to this area here. And here is the USB. Okay, so now let's trace the signal if it goes here in this wire. At the same time, closing eyes will. Okay, so the signal is here, and on the other, on the red wire also. <laughs> but I mainly on focus. So the signal is also there, and going up here. There. So this wire is going up here and to the uh, flat uh, IC. So it's, which is, this is the MC also for the CD and the. So the signals are being combined here in this IC, the MCU here, and goes out to this wire. Okay, so it goes this wire, and from this area here. We cannot check the uh, signal because the signal here is already already digital. So if we are going to try to check the output signal here, so we can't uh, hear any sound. So no sound. Okay. So no sound. So we can't hear any sound. Okay. And the signal, which is already a digital audio, is going to this IC. So this IC is the signal processor here. And the output of this uh, signal processor is this uh, four resistors. And going to this IC, the audio amplifier here. As you can see, these two, these two test points is the input of this audio amplifier. Uh, this one, the this two, this points, and also this two points, one and two. So these are the left channel and the right channel going to this um, audio amplifier. The black, the negative of the speaker terminals are not connected to ground. So this is the ground. So the output is separately not connected to the ground. So it's hard for us to test the uh, signal because the pair of the signal is not the ground. We cannot uh, ground here in the chassis. Here. So we cannot get uh, the signal by grounding the other uh, terminal of the tracer and the signal alone there. So this unit is having five, five drivers or five signal generating uh, system. First is the tuner. 
second is the auxiliary and the USB so third one is the USB then tape deck and the CD or the DVD player okay so from this point here the signal is cannot be controlled it is just coming from this uh, connection here going to this so the signal is still not coming not going to the volume on this wire so the signal will going up here then down then move then move to the signal processor and the signal processor is also controlled by the MCU so this is the MCU here the mixer IC also the 4052 is being controlled the, the pin number uh, 9 and 10 of the 4052 IC is being controlled by the MCU okay so that's it so I remove already the board since my resources is limited I don't have the uh, signal processor what I have here is only the audio amplifier so I am just try to replace this audio amplifier because uh, I have here a replacement so I am going to replace this and I will just come back later because it's hard for me to uh, replace this while uh, doing a video okay so it's done I already replaced the IC it's here So I am just using a soldering iron and removing this because I am not used to remove an IC using the hot air and I am going to add a solder here. install this which chassis and we have to connect a sound a speaker negative positive so this is the speaker I use so this is my uh, this is the speaker for testing just the wire USB to connect the antenna first it the antenna okay it's here this is the antenna oh. so let's connect the antenna so okay let's turn on the unit okay And let's uh, increase the volume. Okay. 
happier with just about anything I see. Drop by I'll go with them. Computer services today. Located at Gala Highway. Or call 422-9026 or 225 Okay, so it's working. And let's check here. Okay. So the problem is in the Ojo IC. Okay, so just a piece of reminder, my idol. So maybe all of you knows already that in one symptom of the problem, there is not only one solution. So in this case, the problem is in the power amplifier. Okay, so. Uh, one thing, if you are going to replace, if your uh, if your unit uh, is having uh, the same problem with this, and you replace the audio amplifier also, and it uh, didn't work, so the problem is not coming from here. So maybe from the signal processor, this IC, or the MCU up here that combines the five signals okay also here because the flow of the signals uh, will travel or will get into uh, how many stages so maybe the problem of yours or what you you, what, what you have encountered is not the same with this solution so in this case mostly I replaced immediately the audio amplifier just to uh, just to sure if the problem is coming from this IC or not because after I am going to replace and there is still no audio sound so, so I confirm that the problem is not coming from the audio amplifier. So the problem is coming from where the signal goes through and where it comes from. So that is the flow. So that is why I am explaining how the signals are being uh, or where the signals are coming from um, and where going through okay so if you encounter a uh, trouble like this so just replace immediately the audio amplifier and if the solution is uh, still not working then uh, you can move to the other suspected uh, parts mostly here like for example here because this is the audio processor okay and the signal is coming from this wire comes in to this IC and the other uh, synchronized to the MCU here okay so this is the brain of the system and uh, audio amplifier as what I have said earlier this was uh, um, controlled by the MCU pin number 3 of this audio amplifier pin number 3 is the shutdown okay the shutdown pin and the shutdown pin is connected to the MCU and the output of the signal is coming from the signal processor comes into this area here okay so that's it hope everything will be uh, clear or um, do I make myself clear to you and everything is uh, clear to everybody I will uh, watch this video so I explained the flow of the signal so that you can trace where the problem is coming from 
Okay, but in my case, uh, what I've did is to, what I did is to replace immediately, just to confirm if the problem is coming from here or not. Okay, so that's it. That's it for this video. Before I go, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Or just hit the like, like button and the notification bell. Okay, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.